In this video, we're going to add and subtract rational expressions with different denominators. Now, we know to add or subtract, we must build up the denominators to a common denominator by multiplying by the missing factors. That's just from regular adding and subtracting of fractions. However, with rational expressions, in order to multiply by missing factors, we must first identify the factors in the denominator. We must factor the denominators. So when we see 2x over x squared minus 9 plus 5 over x squared plus x minus 6, we need to first find a common denominator by factoring the denominators. x squared minus 9, you should recognize as one of our shortcuts. It's a sum and difference of square roots. Square root of x squared is x. The square root of 9 is 3. As for the second denominator, factoring it, x squared is x times x. We want to multiply to negative 6, different signs, add to 1x. Uh, negative 6, different signs, 2 and 3, if the 3 is positive and the 2 is negative. So now that we've factored those denominators, we need to identify what's the least common denominator. Using all factors with highest exponents, we have an x plus 3, there's an x minus 3, there's an x minus 2, and we already have x plus 3, so we don't have to repeat it, which means we want to have all three of these parts in any denominator. Looking at the first fraction, x plus 3 and x minus 3, it's missing the x minus 2. So we're going to multiply by x minus 2 in both the numerator and denominator. As we do, we'll distribute in the numerator. We only are going to multiply out numerators. 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 2 is negative 4x over the common denominator, which is x plus 3, x minus 3, and x minus 2. Plus, the second fraction, when we look at it, see what it's missing. It's got x minus 2 and x plus 3. It's missing the x minus 3 factor. So we'll multiply by the missing factor, x minus 3, in numerator and denominator. As we do, we'll distribute the 5 to get 5x minus 15 over the common denominator, x plus 3, x minus 3, x minus 2. And now that we have a common denominator, we're ready to start combining like terms and adding the numerators together. 2x squared in the numerator, minus 4x plus 5x is plus 1x, and finally there's a minus 15 over the common denominator, x plus 3, x minus 3, x minus 2. Now, of course, we're not done at this point because we do have to check to see if this is going to reduce. So let's see if we can factor that numerator to see if it can reduce. We always want our final answer reduced. 2x squared is 2x times x. And we want the last terms to multiply to negative 15 with different signs, maybe 5 times 3. Let's see, that would give us... 6x and 5x. We want to end up with positive 1, so if we did positive 6 and negative 5, that would work. Positive 6 on the outside, negative 5 on the inside. Over the common denominator, which is x plus 3, x minus 3, x minus 2. And now we can divide out what we can out of the numerator and denominator, the x plus 3. This gives us a final answer of 2x minus 5 over x minus 3 
times x minus 2. We were able to add these rational expressions together by identifying the common denominator and building up by multiplying by missing factors. Let's try a subtraction problem. Oops, too far. 2x plus 7 over x squared minus 2x minus 3 minus 3x minus 2 over x squared plus 6x plus 5. One thing I want to notice is we never want to subtract rational expressions. We're going to add the opposite or distribute that negative through, change it to plus, distributing the negative, we now have negative 3x and positive 2. Take care of the negative first. Just like a division problem, we multiply by the reciprocal. Subtraction, distribute the negative through. Now, let's see if we can identify our common denominator. The first denominator, x squared, is x times x. Negative 3, 3 times 1, and if the 3 is negative and the 1 is positive, that'll give us the negative 2 in the middle. The second denominator, x squared is x times x. To multiply to 5, it must be 5 times 1, and that does add to 6. So our least common denominator that we're going to build up to is made up of all the unique factors. We've got an x minus 3, an x plus 1, an x plus 5, and we've already got x plus 1, so we don't need to repeat it. So when we look at the first fraction, we're looking for what's missing, what's in blue that's not in red. I said that backwards. What's in red that's not in blue? The blue is missing the x plus 5, so we're going to multiply x plus 5 in both the numerator and denominator. Now the 2x plus 7, we'll put that in parentheses to show we're multiplying the entire thing, which means we need to do some FOIL. x times 2x is 2x squared plus 7x, plus 10x, plus 35, over the common denominator of x minus 3, x plus 1, x plus 5. Plus, the second fraction is missing the x minus 3 factor. So we'll multiply it, putting the numerator in parentheses, top and bottom, and distributing gives us 3x squared, negative 3x squared, positive 9x, being careful of our signs, plus 2x, minus 6, over the common denominator x minus 3, x plus 1, x plus 5. Lots to combine, but we can do it. 2x squared, minus 3x squared is negative x squared x, we've got 17, plus 9 is 26, plus 2 is 28x. And then finally, 35 minus 6 is 29, over the common denominator of x minus 3, x plus 1, x plus 5. Now to reduce. One thing I notice while we're reducing is we don't like x squared to be negative, so let's factor a negative out of everything to change that to a positive. Positive x squared, now it's negative 28x and negative 29, just putting it right above, keeping that negative out front. x squared is x times x. 29 is 29 times 1, and if the 29 is negative and the 1 is positive, We've got it factored over the common denominator of x minus 3, x plus 1, x plus 5. Divide out that common factor of x plus 1, and we finally have our final result, the opposite of x minus 29 over x minus 3 times x plus 5. Identify your common denominator, build up to that common denominator, by multiplying by missing factors. Always reduce at the end, and always make sure at the beginning, if it's subtraction, distribute the negative through the numerator.